Hi, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some interesting ways to add graphics, text and shapes to your images. So firstly, if we go up to the draw tab up here, we can select from a number of different pens at the top. I'm going to select this one here and if you click on the arrow, you can select not only a number of colours but also the size of the pen nib that you want. So I'm going to click on this one here. And then all you need to do is to go around your image and simply draw anything you like on your image. And of course you can add some arrows, you can add shapes, and you can add text. Now I'm finding this a lot easier because I have got a pen rather than a mouse but you can do this with a mouse if you want to. So that's how you just create some hand-drawn text to your images. Now to add some interesting text I'm going to go to insert text box, click on the drop down and just select draw text box, click and draw out a text box. Now you can type entire words into this if you want to, but I'm just going to show you something a little bit more interesting. So I'm just going to type a capital S, select it. I'm going to go to the Home tab and I'm going to choose an interesting font from my selection. I'm going to choose this one here and then I'm going to increase the font size of it with this Increase Font Size tool here. I'm just going to keep clicking until I get the font size I want. And then with this box selected, I'm going to go to Shape Format. I'm going to go to this icon here, which is the outline. There is a black outline to this box, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Go to Shape Fill. I'm going to select No Fill. So now I've just got my letter without a background. And then I'm going to go to the Home tab. I'm going to go to this icon here, which is the font color. Click on the drop down and select White. Now I can move this anywhere I want to in my image. Then I'm going to copy and paste it. The easiest way to do this is to select it. Hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag. And then just select this text by clicking inside. And then I can actually rotate this text if I want to and just move it wherever I like. I can then once again go up and increase or decrease the font size and then I'm going to select this text and then I'm going to copy and paste it again and then this time select the text and then increase the size again. If this happens where you can't quite see it just move the text box around until you can see your letter then for this one, I'm actually going to decrease the transparency of it, which is another little trick you can do. Select it, go to Shape Format, go over to this Format Pane icon here, go to Text Options, and then it's Solid Fill here, which has been selected. Go to Transparency, just click and drag the slider, and you can see my letter has now become more transparent. Then I can click and drag out another letter. This one I'm going to change to C because I'm just going to create the word shock. Then I'm just going to move that one under here. I'm going to grab this one, copy and paste it. And then for this one, I'm going to increase the font size quite big. I've got to change the letter to the letter K and then we can move this wherever we like. So you can do some really interesting things with your letters, you can move them around, you don't have to put them all into one text box. There we go, and then to add some interest we can go to insert, shapes, click on the line, click hold down the shift key and drag down to the bottom and then once you've created this line we're going to go to shape format back over to the format pane icon and then we're going down to line here in the solid line I'm going to change the color to white and then here I'm just going to use the up arrow to increase the width of that line until I'm happy and then I'm going to copy and paste it 
Command or Control C and then Command or Control V for this one because it's just easier because these lines are sometimes really difficult to get hold of. And then you can move these lines. You can see that, as I say, they are really tricky to get hold of. I'm just going to extend that one upwards. Pull this one down. And this is just adding a little bit of interest to your graphics. It's completely up to you what you decide to do. And then you can either take a screenshot of this or you can export it as a picture. And to do that, select everything by holding down your command or control key whilst you select every element of this image, including the background. Then go to group, select group. Now it's all one image. Then all you have to do is right click on it, go to save as picture, select where you want it to be, save to, change the name, and then you can choose PNG or JPEG, it's completely up to you, and then click save. And then if I go to insert, pictures, picture from file, I go to my desktop, I've then got picture one here, click insert, and then I'm just going to bring this to the front. Let's go to wrap text in front of text. And then you can see I've got that picture here that I can increase and decrease the size of and it just acts like a completely normal image. You can use that image on websites, on social media, completely up to you. Now I'm just going to show you another little trick which you can use with the shapes or icons. So let's go to insert shapes. Let's just click on the square. Click and draw out a square. Let's just zoom in. Now this square has, or this rectangle has got a borderline here. I'm just going to take that out. So go to shape format, go to the outline and just take off the outline. I'm just going to turn this box white. So we can actually make this box look like it's going behind her head. And the way to do that is make sure it's selected and you're on shape format. Go to edit shape, go to edit points. And you can see we've now got this red line on the outside and these black markers. If you click on these black markers and move them, you can see it's a bit clunky. If it does that, hold down the Alt key and that action will be a lot smoother. And then I'm going to grab the top one, just move it first and then use that Alt or Option key. I'm just going to line it up with the side of her head. Then you can see we've got these little handles on the side and if we pull and push those you can see we can start to make a curve and I'm going to do that for this bottom one as well and you can see we just got to the outline of her head there now you can do this with any shape it doesn't matter and then deselect it and you can see now how that shape looks like it's gone behind her head now you can also do this with icons, so if you go to insert, icons, and at the top here in the search bar you can search for anything you like. I'm just going to search for fist, and I'm just going to select this icon here and click insert. You see it's up here, it needs to come in front of this photo. So I'm just going to go to wrap text, in front of photo, or in front of text. Then I'm just going to move it. I'm going to just move this one to white, or change this one to white as well. I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to rotate it and let's make this look. Whoops. I'm going to try and make this look like it's coming out of her shoulder. So I'm just going to rotate this a little bit more. And then for this one, you have to go up to graphics format. You then have to go along to convert to shape. Let's just move that back now. Then go to shape format. Then once again, go to edit shape, edit points. And once again, if you click on the black marker and move it, again we'll hold down that Alt or Option key. Just move it first and then click the Alt key, otherwise sometimes it will duplicate it. And then you can just move the markers up level with the outside of her shoulder. And once you're happy, you can just deselect. And once again, it can look like it's actually coming out from behind her. Those are really useful tools. It can get a little bit complicated depending on the item that you're using, but just to show you that you can achieve quite a lot in Word. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.